What is going on guys? This is Cora Vane here and welcome to Persona 3 Reload. It has been a good long time since I played Persona 3. Back when it was on PS2, which was Persona 3 Fest, and then they brought out the PlayStation Portable version, which added a uh, female protagonist, which was pretty damn cool. Um, but it has been a good long while. And I know me and a few other friends are so hyped for this damn game. Because we always wanted this game to come back. And uh, I honestly just can't contain how excited I am. Because this game looks goddamn phenomenal so far. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to keep the music high as much as possible. Um, yeah, the music is freaking phenomenal. But, yeah. That looks good. But yeah, overall, I am so hyped for this game. Hopefully you guys are. And if you guys are, a rating would be appreciated. Subscribe for more because it does help me out. And with that being said, let's jump right into Persona 3 Reload. Uh, I'm going to go normal. Yes. Uh, the following DLC has been detected. Okay. Uh, B4G BGM set. Well, Persona 4 Golden. But, okay. Set from the config menu under system settings. Okay. But I'm going to go with the OG sound. to my head and then pull the trigger come on there's no way I can't your attention please today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching malfunction we apologize for any inconvenience the next stop is Iwatodai I arrived so late. Better hurry up. Okay, we gotta get to the dorm. Um, that's where I'll be staying from now on. Should be just a, up ahead. Hmm. Interesting. I go to the mall. Interesting. Yeah. 
into the door. So far, this looks fucking amazing. It was like almost like watching a damn anime. <laughs> uh, Awato Dai Dorm. I guess this is it. Love so casual, like, doesn't even acknowledge what they even, what the hell's going around in them. <laughs> Persona 3 Reload. Man, I'm so fucking hyped for this game. Hmm. Welcome. Oops, Mysterious Boy. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Alright, sure, why not? <clears throat> Please sign your name. Well, that should be easy. Just go with my name. I know he has a name now since they made an anime based off it, but I'm gonna go with this. Corvain, did I spell that correctly? Yes. Go with this. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. Eh, it's alright. And so, it begins. Yes, it does. The dark hour. Hmm. Who's there? here at this hour don't tell me wait huh? the lights I didn't think you'd arrive so late my name is Mitsuru Kirijo I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' room. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. Mm-hmm. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Um, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Yeah, I'll do that. Well, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Alright, my favorite character's gonna be uh leading the way. I always like Yukari. She's pretty cool. Here's your room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? What's that contract for? Contract? What are you talking about? Curry doesn't seem to know what I am talking about. Uh, can I ask you something? Sure. On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Um, what do you mean? 
you don't <clears throat> know? I guess that means you're fine. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Roger that. Good night. Good start so far. This is gonna be my room for a whole year. Life in the dorm starts today. The room came pre-furnished in everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Saving your progress. You can save your progress in the game by pressing the start button. Okay, it is possible where whenever is displayed on the screen. Okay. Upload save data to the network by saving your game in uh, the network slot. You can upload save data online instead of saving it to the main console storage. Ew, okay. You'll need a account. For, okay. Yeah. Um. Yep. And we'll not transfer it to an okay. Keep in mind certain trophies cannot be earned unless you start a new game from the beginning or with cleared data. If you have not already cleared earned them. Uh Okay. Rewinding your previous points okay. Select a rewind slots. What should do is not save your new starting point automatically. Check your tutorials. Okay. So I got all this stuff. Persona. Don't have anything yet, so. Alright, cool. At least I can save my. Uh... There we go. That's. Uh... Better put my stuff away in the closet now. All right. Purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. Okay, I should put my stuff in the closet. Okay. Check closet. Bed. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. All right. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early, so I'm ready for the first day of school. Seventh day, Tuesday. It's Takeba. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Let's set out. At least we got full cutscenes in this game this now. This how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now! Morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gecko Khan High School. I hope you like it. Mm. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hmm. Hey. About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. 
Alright, Roger that. I don't think anybody would blame me anyway, so. <laughs> There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. Looking around. Use the, uh, okay, to rotate camera, I'm pressing. We'll recenter the camera behind the protagonist. Focus the view closer and on the protagonist. Reset the camera, okay. In some location, the camera will be locked in place. Whenever it is available, using the camera, okay. Yeah, I can officially look around now. <laughs> but I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Oh great, I have the worst teacher ever. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but... I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. These guys. Check the bulletin board. Class roasters are posted. My name is added on a small note off to the side. Class second floor Corvain. Hmm. The name Yukari Takabai is also on that li on the list. Seems that I'll be in the same class as her. No, no. after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? I remember those two. Good grief. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. Um, we lived longer than them. See you. I didn't interrupt, but I need to get back to the managing the shop. <sighs> Even you're shooting me away? <laughs> Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take us. Oh, all right, all right. You want me to order more of those uh, cream-filled breads you like them uh, like so much, right? You could have just asked. Hmm. Anybody else? Nope. Okay. Have to go on the left side here. Back to the office, huh? Uh, I think it's that way. Actually, I am new here, so you should probably ask someone else. All right, kind of know where it is. Now, listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. I don't remember the French did, uh, surprisingly. That's what I like to hear, my boy! Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Interesting. First time I've actually ever seen that one. I think I remember her, definitely. Huh? Yeah, I definitely remember her. Very strange. I even made sure to check the map, but... Where am I? It's the library right there. Faculty lounge? Right here. Seems to be the faculty lounge. Should I go in? Enter. Are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. 
You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. You're telling me. Let's see, ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Thank you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. Roger that. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. All right. Come on, I'll show you the way. Thank you. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Are you two walking together? You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. <sighs> Always causing trouble. <laughs> What's up, dude? How's it going? Junpei. What? Don't look at me like that. And you are... I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Yeah, you're always something, Junpei. <sighs> hey, it's Yukatan! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again! Acting like everybody's best friend. <laughs> Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. It's actually funny that the original voice actor for Junpei was actually Vic Mignogna. Um, he actually played Edward Elwark in the um, old Metal Alchemist anime series, so it's always just like burned in my brain his voice for Junpei. I know they got a whole new cast for um, the renewed version of this game, so. It's definitely interesting. Cause I think Yuri Lowenthal used to play the main character. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, I know. Must be fate. You don't have the courage to say that right now. Maybe I could say stuff like this without hesitation if I was at least determined. Anyway. Who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class, too? <laughs> anyway, gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, get the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? I didn't. Okay, good. Seriously. Don't say anything about last night, okay? 
Roger that. Oh god. Jimpe got the wrong idea. Oh god. Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Here's the point. At least for now, at least. Jeez. I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. <laughs> no Jimpe. No one takes rumors seriously anyway. Eh. They kind of so do. Paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. <laughs> well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You're ready to head out. We can walk to the station together. All right. Let's hang out. Uh, should we also t look around the school while we're here, uh, while we're at it? I'll just follow you around if you want to leave. Head out to the front entrance, okay. So I can actually look around, talk with everybody. Hey, new kid. You have no idea how lucky you are. Shown by cute girls and 2F, like, talking about son. That's all people think about. Don't you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? This is the second floor, and the one below has the faculty office, club rooms, uh, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either of the staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Okay, cool. Kind of reminds me of, like, in, uh, what's his name? Um, I don't know if his name is you. And, uh... You Nakamura, I think, from the uh, Persona 4. <laughs> he kind of looks like him a little bit. Uh, you're the transfer student. You gotta join a club or something. Um, planning to be able to join right away, though. I hear a lot of them are m at max capacity. Just keep an eye out for an open spot. They might start recruiting again in late April. Uh, good to know. New school years sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates, it's exhausting having to start over every year. Yeah, it does, that's for sure. Yeah. Eve, you gotta go to the floor down. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Got plenty of stuff going on around here. There's Yukari. Hey. You're leaving now. You know how to get back, right? Don't go teaching uh, Vain Coon any stuff, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll catch you later. You get done. Yep, got that girl over here. You can tell how fashionable a person is by how they wear their school uniform. I'm going to brush up on the latest trends to show off my best self. It's not about looks. Doesn't matter what you look like. Let's see you. Did you just transfer to this our school? Right, well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested is in Kaj uh, Kajiro, um, senpai. Uh, she looked so stunning at today's welcoming ceremony, too. Hmm. What is this for you? Head grief. Um. You think so? Interesting. New transfer students are going to be in 2F. Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be a, a really cute <laughs> one of us go steal a peek? Oh yeah, apparently he's staying at Itwutai, um dorm. I want to talk about sons staying out. But isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. Uh, it's bad to assume shit. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see, is there anything else? Got a bubble down here. 
This one I'd use for the club activities, not just for lessons. Typically, it's the culture's club that use them, but they don't seem to be accepting new members right now. Okay. We'll catch them at a uh, later day, that's all. Oh. It's Zero. Uh, yes. It's you. Be careful on the way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. Mind you that. How's all this guy? Um. Okay. All right, let's get going. You ready to get out of here? Yep. That's right. Cool. Let's get going. Like I said, the game looks so fucking beautiful now. Oh, check out the jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining a club? I'll wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Hmm. Your stops at Iwatodai, right? At Toadai, yeah, right. Horns, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. He says some of my Japanese, my Japanese interpretation of certain words is going to be a little off. I'm pretty good, but <laughs> I only do so much. Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. The news has been really weird lately. I even saw some policemen around earlier. Not really. Music's still pretty damn badass, though. has a cat. It's so cute. <laughs> I won't read everything, but I'll read some things. Town map. Use the town map to navigate. Yeah, I kind of know that. Visit as many spots in town as you can, and they'll be added to the map. Okay. Side quest. Okay, multiple. Gotcha. Student dormitory. Okay. Yes. Should I go back to the dorm now? Yes. <clears throat> Can't really do much right now. But, um, yeah. Mitsuru. Welcome back. What was your first day at school? Not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You had a long day, so get some rest. Thank you. I'll try. By the way, it's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure to get a good night's rest. Thank you. I won't. Here's uh, Yukari. Oh, welcome back. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Just looking around. Not much. How about you? Um. Just killing time, I guess. <laughs> well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. I know what they're trying to do. <laughs> trying to get me to go to bed early for the dark hour. When nighttime hits, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Interesting. Should I go to bed? Yes. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Hmm. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Yeah, that was the name, Akihiko. Kind of forgot. <laughs> like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. <laughs> Wednesday. Back at school. I can hear people talking. Have you heard? Remember about um what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news, besides it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about the, the that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is it's coming, it's coming. Is that really how the story goes, eh? Oh, no, whatever. It's probably all made up anyways. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. Yep, yeah, we got school, so. That's it, this uh, class. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Especially the classes. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zensau. Casal. Huh, why him? I've been more interested in Tata Kenko's uh, work lately. His essays are fantastic, and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I just bring his book next time. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on lunar calendar, making it very difficult. Complicated, I mean. Hey, uh, Ori, um, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among the, these phrases, a rain fly of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which are symbolized summer? Uh. What? <laughs> uh, you were listening, right? Lay a, bro a brother a hand. When going about your day-to-day -day life, you will come across certain actions that require the use of one of these stats. Academics, charm, and courage. Okay. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions recently in a class. Keep an eye out for activities that might help you own those skills. Okay. Symbolize summer. Uh, vivid cart streamers. Yep, that's right. Hell yeah. So you were listening to me after all. By the way, Mystic Mirage and Rain of flower, uh, Flowers represent spring. And Mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And the Rain of uh, Flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Our next topic is... Oh, well, you know how much I like to pay attention. And you seriously saved my bacon, Coral. Bankun gave him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I can hear my classmates whispering. 
I've become slightly more popular. Yep. Got my first upgrade a little bit. <laughs> and charm. After school. Class is ended for today. I should head back to the dorm. Strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. This is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Oh, nice to meet you. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? Who else lives here? You saw something strange? Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something that doesn't seem right. Any other questions? Uh... To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. So too. Do you have another question? No, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, Hope so. if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because your students? Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Talking about dad jokes. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night, Ron. Good night. I should listen to them and get so get some rest in my room. How's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. <laughs> What do you think, my niece? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> I'm serious! I was scared yeah, shitless! Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, yeah, same place. <laughs> The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. Oh, God. There it goes. 
the dark hour. Huh? Oh shit, he didn't end up, end up in the coffin, that's not good. Every day at 12 midnight, you could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Definitely a special case, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Igor? If I remember right. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. Yep, that was right. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document I signed at the dorm. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. What's that? Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. I will. Hold on to this. Velvet key. Until we meet again. <laughs> interesting, interesting. <laughs> Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, know, I'm so sleepy today. It's times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. The adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher is a really spice up your dreams. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. After you build up the courage to do, uh, do it once, you gotta try it again. And again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. <laughs> but we have classic literature today. That means you're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Higada. Hmm. All right. Now, moving on. Uh, Mr. Higada, I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about 
good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong? The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Stay awake. Hey, are you listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we? Children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Isa Mona Kadatari, the original Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. The youngsters might even call it the bomb. Sorry. <laughs> I can tell you people are zooming out on me. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the literature lecture. Got my academics up at least a little bit. Getting there. So I gotta make sure I stay ahead of my school days. So I'll do it later. How's it going? Wanna stop somewhere on the way home? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? Sure. That's right. You're new around here. Of course. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Alright. Lead the way. Was it the ramen place? Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh, yeah, you can rent out CDs, too. Cool. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. <laughs> this place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Would you pay for a while before heading back to the dorm? At the school. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in Mike, any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? I wish I'd rest me off to bed. Maps and shortcuts. We'll display a map of your current location and shortcuts that will allow you to fast travel. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. Your room. Okay, so I can take shortcuts. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna end it here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, it's appreciated if you leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you wonderful people in the next parts. Peace.